All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have this budget gaming PC all booted up and ready to go, let's talk about a couple benchmarks real quick. Now, we decided to test this PC in a couple of titles, those being Call of Duty Cold War, Fortnite, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Apex Legends. First up in Call of Duty Cold War, on medium settings at 1080p, we got well over 100 plus FPS. This shows that the GTX 1070 is still a very viable card for a budget gaming rig. You can play pretty much anything you want at medium high settings at 1080p with this 10 series card, and well, well, it goes to show it's a good option. It compares very well to a 1660 Super with just, well, a little bit more VRAM than a 1660 Super. So if you're playing games that are more VRAM dependent, this might actually be a better option. But a 1070, really awesome card, can play pretty much any game you want. And that 3500X is sneakily impressive, as you can see when we test games like Fortnite, which are more CPU dependent. On performance mode, we got well over 300 plus, sometimes 400 plus FPS. There were a few stutters here and there down to 200, and and that has to do with the RAM that we used, only 3,000 megahertz. Maybe going with something like 32 or 34 or maybe 3,600 megahertz might make that a little bit better if you're trying to aim for the upper 300 plus FPS mark. But the 3500X does a really good job. It is not nearly as good as like 5th gen Ryzen, but it still has some pretty good IPC to make it great for a high refresh rate gaming experience in games like Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, Valorant, and all those other esports titles. Next up in Shadow of the Tomb Raider with the built-in benchmark tool on high settings, we averaged 82 FPS. This really maxed out the GTX 1070, but it does show on medium high settings in pretty much any AAA title, you should get over 60 FPS with this PC. Realistically, a few years ago, you probably would have paid roughly, oh, I don't know, six or $700 for this rig. And the fact that we were able to pay roughly that price and well, it's more like a thousand dollar plus PC. It's still pretty impressive that we're actually able to find these parts at that price point. It might be a little bit hard for you at home to achieve this, but this this is just another one of our examples of if you're patient, you have a decent used market, and you really look regularly, you might get some decent deals where people are selling off graphics cards at a really reasonable price. Not saying a 1070 for $380 is a great deal, but given the market, it's okay. And last but certainly not least is Apex Legends. On medium settings, we were pushing well over 100 plus FPS and hitting that FPS cap of 144, well, a decent amount at the time. Apex Legends is a slightly more demanding esports title, so I decided to add it to the benchmark rotation. Once again, guys, if you have any suggestions for future games to test on our PCs in the future, let me know in the comment section down below. But overall, this PC is very impressive. Being able to play games like Cold War and all the other AAA titles at over 60 plus FPS and sometimes into the 100 pluses, so we can actually take advantage of a 144 hertz monitor, really makes it a great value offering if you're able to find stuff like this on the used market. So now we finished the benchmarking section of today's video. How are we going to bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick?